Think it. Make it. Trade it. More than a trading platform. We welcome you to visit us at www.prodigiorts.com. Hello and thank you for joining us. This is a tutorial on how to use the Chart Trader Pro tab within the Prodigio RTS platform. Once you've logged in, go ahead and click on the Chart Trader Pro tab here. And here you have it. Although you're going to notice down at the bottom here we have the order management screen is open by default. And we can minimize this window simply by double clicking this tab so we have more real estate. And we can double click it again just to have it reappear just like that. But for today, let's minimize it so we have more real estate so I can show you exactly how to navigate through the Chart Trader Pro window. And take a look at the top left hand corner of your screen. We have Apple typed in as our symbol, and we can change that at any time and enter any symbol we like. So let's go ahead and try and type in uh, Facebook here, and you're going to see how quickly the chart changes and reflects whatever symbol we have entered in here. Why don't we go back and just type in uh, the Apple symbol? And to the right here, we can select a time interval that we would like the chart to display. So why don't we change it from 5 to 15 minutes. You can go ahead and change it all the way down to uh, a 60 minute or anything that's listed here. And actually, you can even go ahead and customize your own interval simply by picking the time interval and clicking on the select button. Next here we have the history mode and the only way that the history mode can be enabled is when you're doing a back test within the wizard lab of the Prodigio platform. And the next three tabs here, studies, drawings, and this little double arrow here that actually opens up the left menu with additional settings, are discussed in great detail in other tutorials that you can find on our website at www.prodigiorts.com. And please feel free to go through and explore these areas. But for now, let's go ahead and click on the studies tab. And you can see here that there's a list of studies that you can apply to the chart. You can always just highlight one and click on the select button. And if you know exactly what you're looking for, you can manually type it in here. I'm going to type in RSI and you're going to see it's going to pop up. And I'm going to click on the select button. And at the bottom of my screen, because it's a lower study, uh, you can see it right here. And like I said, I'm going to briefly go over this. So if you just hold your mouse and you're going to see that the pointer turns into a screwdriver, click on that and that's going to open up the studies properties where you can enter in and change all the parameters. And if you wanted to get rid of that study, there's an X here. You can click on the X button and it's going to disappear. Next in line, we have the drawings tab. We have everything from creating an alert to vertical lines that you can draw on top of your chart. And to the right of that, we have the type of chart we are looking at. Currently, we are on a candle chart. You can go ahead and select any of these. Here is the bar chart. And here's another very common one. We have a line chart. And that quickly, we can switch through different types of charts. But for now, let's go back to our candle chart. The next thing I'd like to go over is how to zoom in and out of your charts. And there are two different ways that we can do that. The first way I want to like to show you, if you go down to the bottom right hand side of your screen here, the plus and minus allows you to zoom in and zoom out of the screen. And you can see here to the left, as we zoom in and out, there is a scroll bar that we can scroll to the left or to the right, and we can go back in time to see what the chart displays. And if you wanted to, you can actually just click and drag the charts to the left or right and also up and down. And you'll notice when you're zooming in and out that this is going to be very helpful. You can also go down here into the volume section and do the same thing. And notice as I drag the chart from left to right that they don't move independently. And that's because we're at a 60 minute time interval and the volume and candles need to stay in sync. Another way we can zoom in and out of a chart that I actually use quite often rather than coming down here into the right hand corner is just bring the cursor over top of the chart and while you're holding the control button down on the keyboard use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out and remember you have to hold the control button down simultaneously as you use the wheel to zoom in and zoom out. The next thing I want to bring your attention to is this little circle in the bottom right hand corner with the vertical line in it. Once you click it, that's going to bring up all the data available for this particular symbol that we're looking at in this time interval. Okay, So if we change it from 60 minute to weekly chart, now you can see that we went all the way back to 2009. And if we bring it back to a 5 minute chart, it's going to display all the data that's available in that 5 minute time interval. 
So the next thing I want to do is let's zoom in a little bit here and I want to go over the chart trader order entry area. So once we've uh, entered a symbol and selected a time interval we wanted to view and as we're moving along here we can actually buy or sell any of the symbols that we are looking at. Uh, if you click on this little tab here you can buy or sell, select whichever you'd like to do. Here we can select the amount of shares we would like to uh, enter into our order. ETB stands for easy to borrow and in this little area we can lock in a limit or stop price depending on which we choose um, to the right here we have limit market and stop orders and then again we have a day good till cancel and extended hours you could choose as well and once you've entered in all these fields here you can go ahead and select the send button and what that's going to do is put an order in for you and it will show up in your portfolio the next thing I'd like to go over with you is when you type in a symbol right here, right below it, it's going to give you the description, okay, the date and time, the open, high, low, and close values, and everything else here that you see to the right. And that is just another way that you can access information quickly about the symbol that you're looking at in the Chart Trader Pro page. And let's go ahead and enter in uh, another symbol here. And look how quickly everything changes in the chart and all the data here to the right as well. So you can basically stay on this page and as you're going through your symbols and analyzing your charts, you can execute a buy or sell order right from this page and that's pretty awesome. So next take a look here on the far right hand side of the screen there are two values in green text and they're inside of a green box. And take notice as I uh, drag my cursor up and down this chart here there is a horizontal line that's following the cursor. And at the far right hand side of it there is a, in this particular situation it's a green uh, number and that is the price relative to where I'm dragging the cursor over top of my candle chart uh, and of course that reflects whichever symbol you have loaded here which in this case we have uh, Apple loaded up in the top left hand corner. The top number is reflecting the last OHLC candle pattern there and that's reflecting the last price. Next I want to show you how to resize the windows within Chart Trader Pro. All you have to do is bring your cursor right below the dividing line of the windows that you want to resize. Once you see that the cursor changes from a single arrow to a four arrow cursor, just click and drag up or down and that's how you resize windows. And one thing I want to show you in the left menu here is if you scroll down and look here it says hide settings you can hide any of the items that are below it so if I select the volume button and now if you notice to your right let's minimize this the volume part of the chart is gone and if I wanted to view it again I just open up this tab uncheck the volume box and there you have it it's right back where we started from and the last thing I want to show you here is how to create a new chart while you have this chart as well. You can save this chart and you can just pop open a new chart by clicking on this new chart button in the top right hand corner. And actually mine's on the other screen here because I have multiple monitors. And what this allows you to do is to have multiple charts up on your monitors at one time. So once you've entered in everything here, whatever studies and whatever symbol you want to see, you can simply just drag it onto another screen like I just did. And now I have two different charts open simultaneously. And that concludes our tutorial for the Chart Trader Pro window. Remember, this is just an overview. We have other tutorials up on the web that you can go and access that will get into greater detail on Chart Trader Pro. Thanks again. And remember, we can always be reached at support at Prodigio. RTS.com. Nothing contained in this education tutorial video constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, promotion, or endorsement of any particular security, other investment, product, transaction, or investment. We do not give investment advice or advise anyone on the value of securities or other investment instruments. We do not recommend trades or transactions in securities or other financial instruments. Investment-related information we provide is for educational and informational purposes only, and no trade ideas or other references we make to a particular security is a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold that or any other security, any portfolio of securities, or to affect any transaction or investment strategy. None of the information we provide is tailored to your investment needs or the investment needs of any person. We do not guarantee that 
following any of the information we provide will result in profitable investment activities. We do not warrant or guarantee the accurateness, completeness, or adequacy of the information we provide. Any use of information from this educational tutorial is entirely at your own risk.